Hey everybody, and Tony here with the review of Bellini's Norma, live from the Teatro Real de Madrid, which I saw this morning on the Arte TV website. The conductor was Roberto Abado, the production was done by Davide Livermore, the set designer was Gio Forma, the costumes were done by Mariana Fracasso, the videographer was D. Walk, and the chorus master was Andres Maspero. I was mainly looking forward to this production because of the stellar cast which included Maria Gresta in the title role, Michele Pertusi as Oraveso, Gregory Kund as Bollone, and Karine de Chaillet as Adalgisa. I'll get to them later. But first, the production. While the entire production was rather dark and quite foreboding, it was very captivating to look at and quite mesmerizing in terms of its visuals and in terms of some of the sets used. Like we had some rock formations, we had some trees, and it was rather elegant as it really brought out that druid-like feel in terms of the natural surroundings and in terms of all of those earthy colors being used. And I really love the costumes. They had their own sense of authenticity, beauty, and they just looked really wonderful on all of the singers, especially Karine de Chaillet as Adalgisa. She just looked like an angel. What I also noticed about this production was the usage of a lot of the visual images to convey a lot of the moments of this opera. What's also striking is that we also get to see a young Norma to even humanize the character of Norma. So there were a lot of interesting facets going on with this production as it had this foreboding yet mesmerizing feel and the costumes were absolutely elegant. And now we get to the singer, starting off with Maria Gresta as Norma. I heard her two years ago singing the role of Lucrezia Contarini from Verdi's I Due Foscari, live from the Royal Opera House. And this was definitely her finest moment yet. She had complete control of her voice. She was able to sing a lot of the pianissimo notes with such floating agility, and she has a very gorgeous timbre, which is a brilliant mixture between a high-flying and absolutely gorgeous dramatic coloratura soprano voice, and combining that with a rich, full spinto soprano voice, you could definitely tell that this was a singer who really knew how to take complete control of her voice and sang a lot of her lines with precision and great amounts of accuracy. There were moments where she was kind of flat on certain notes, especially some of the high notes, but despite that, she still managed to show such great artistry and she really knew how to embody the character of Norma with such beauty, strength, dimension, and a lot of human qualities to make this character very interesting. And speaking of high notes, I really loved her high C's, that high D she managed to let out during the first act finale, and of course, the high E flat where she sang with Gregory Kunde as the Pollone before the end of the opera in the duet In Mia Man Al Fin Tu Sei. And I really love that moment where any soprano hits that high E flat before the end of the duet. Speaking of Pollone, we have Gregory Kund singing this role. Over the years, opera fans have witnessed Mr. Kunde singing a lot of the high-flying roles of the bel canto operas like Alma Viva from Barbiere, to singing a lot more of the full lyric tenor roles, and nowadays he's singing a lot of roles from the spinto and dramatic tenor repertoire. In addition to that, his voice has darkened a great amount to a weightier dramatic tenor voice. And wow, if there is an artist I deeply, deeply respect, it has to be Mr. Kunde. He is not only a great singer, 
he's not only someone who is very well known for singing a great length and width of roles from every type of period, whether it be from the period of Mozart or the bel canto operas to some verismo, maybe even some German and French and Russian and all that stuff. But he is someone who really knows how to use his voice very well. Yes, for some people, it doesn't have that same shimmer it once had in the past, but his voice more than compensates given the weight that is present in his voice, which is very useful for singing roles like Polione, and his stage presence was, as to be expected, very, very handsome. He looked heroic on stage and sounded heroic as well. He managed to make a great use of his now spinto tenor voice and he sang all the high notes wonderfully. He had a very magnetic stage presence helped by his handsome lyrical spinto tenor voice which he sang with such pure abandon yet great musicality and great accuracy. Michele Pertussi was a noble oravesso as his voice was rich and round, and his stage presence was commanding. He had the audience at the palm of his hand as he really knew how to make Oroveso a very dignified character, yet also a multi-dimensional character who's not really a stoic father to Norma when she's about to climb up the funeral pyre, but he knows that he himself will have to face the tragic consequences that he will lose her and he will also be the grandfather to Norma's children out of having an affair with Polione. He really knows how to give a lot of dimension with this really wonderful character and he sang with great focused tones all around. Karine de Chaye was an absolute charmer as Adalgisa. She was an absolute darling in this role. She had the innocence to really make this character charming and absolutely youthful with that blonde hair, with pink highlights, and that lovely white gown, and her youthful countenance and also help with the fact that she has a very gorgeous lyric mezzo voice. Yes, I would have loved to hear both Deshaye and Agresta sing the Mira o Norma duet in the original key of F, but despite that, they sang their duet with such heavenly tones, and Madame Deshaye has a very gorgeous voice, which is so uniform throughout all the registers, which is no surprise as she has specialized in a lot of coloratura mezzo roles and lyric mezzo roles, making her one of the most sought after lyric mezzos in roles like Cenerentola, Rosina, Carmen, Mignon, and even Elisabetta from Donizetti's Maria Stuarda. Overall, Madame de Chaillet as Adalgisa was just very gorgeous, with such silken tones and a darling stage presence. So there's no doubt that the main singers were at their absolute prime, but the secondary singers also did great as well, with Maria Miro's lyric soprano voice being put to great use as Clotilde, and Antonio Lozano's lyric tenor voice being put to great use in the very small character of Flavio. So overall, the singing was excellent, and Roberto Abado did a very fine job with the conducting, and the orchestra was absolutely fine all around. Sure, there were times that the chorus didn't really sing in such a crisp manner, but despite that, they still managed to sing their lines very, very well, and everyone was in pure harmony. So overall, this was an absolutely mesmerizing production of Norma, helped with the fact that we have an international all-star cast, fine conducting done by Roberto Abado, and a pretty good chorus from the Teatro Real de Madrid. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in later for my review of the Metropolitan Opera's radio broadcast of Verdi's Aida. So until then, have a great day, everybody.